Yo, to go, and changing verbs. We've seen that verbs have two parts. One is the radical, and the second is the terminación. The terminación is the ending. The radical is the stem. Abel, com, and vive are three examples of stems. AR, ER, and IR are the three types of endings we have in Spanish. So hablar, comer, and vivir, AR, ER, and IR are the three kinds of verbs we have in Spanish. We've seen that some verbs will change not only in the ending, o, as, a, Amos, ais, and an, but some will also change in the stem. For example, some will change e to i, e to ie, o to ue, and u to ue. Examples are sirvo, sirves, sirve, servimos, servis, and sirven. Another is the verb pensar, which is to think, pienso. Puedo, it comes from poder, which is to be able to. And the only one in the fourth category is jugar, or to play. You can see that each of these will change in the stem, except in the nosotros y vosotros forms. Those are the stem change verbs. We have in this lesson some verbs that will change in the ending. There are five categories. We see four here. They are yo de ho, yo de go, yo de zicio, and I to y. Verbs that are in the yo de ho category are going to end in G-E-R, or G-I-R. So the ending G-E-R and G-I-R are a clue that they're going to change in the yo form. Verbs that end in G-U-I-R are going to be yo to goes, as well as some others. Verbs that end in C-E-R and C-I-R will change yo to Z-C-O. And any word that ends in just U-I-R is going to change I to Y. You can see the yo to ho is either G-E-R or G-I-R, and the yo to Z-C-O is either C-E-R or C-I-R. Let's look at our first example for the Yoda Ho. Proteger is a G-E-R verb. If it were to change normally, it would look like the following. Protego, proteges, protege, protegemos, protegeis, and protegen. Before I show how that's irregular, I want to explain why. When it comes to G, the pronunciation of the G is going to change depending on the vowel that comes after it. For example, G-O is go, ga, and gu. So o, a, u are going to have a g sound for the g. Go, ga, gu. However, it'll change. If it's an e or an i, this will not be gay, it'll be he. And this is he. So we have go, ga, gu, he, and he. So you can see why verbs that change G-E-R or G-I-R are going to have a little bit of a difference here. Let's look at this. When we conjugate proteger, the yo form is going to be protego. However, the rest in the entire paradigm will be a h sound. So for the yo, we have protego. For the rest, we have g. Proteger, proteges, protege, protegemos, protegeis, y protegen. The idea of changing that yo form is to maintain that h sound all the way through the entire conjugated paradigm. Protejo goes from protego to protejo. So now we have proteger, protejo, proteges, protege, protegemos, protegeis, and protegen. So the sound is going to stay the same now all the way through that. So protego goes to protejo. Let's look at a couple other examples for either a G-E-R or a G-I-R ending. Dirigir means to direct. In this case, you can see, it's going to change to dirijo. Otherwise, it would be dirigo, and the rest stays normal. So the reason why this is a yo to go is because it's only going to change in the yo form. Protejo, dirijo, and coger means to take like to take a class or to take a bus. In some countries, it's also the F word. It can be a bad word, but normally it's like I'm going to take a class at school or I'm going to take a bus to school, coger, to take. In this case, the first one sounds like cogo. They add the J instead, so it's cojo. Cojo, dirijo, protejo. These verbs are going to end either in a G-E-R, like coger and proteger, or a G-I-R, like Dirigir. Those are some examples of words that will go yo to ho. Let's look at the yo to goes. 
Salir means to leave, to, to leave a classroom, to exit a classroom. Let's look at how this one changes. If it were regular, it would look like this, all the way down. Salo, sale, sale, I leave, you leave, she leaves. However, and I don't know exactly the reason for this, they add a G, salgo, sale, sale. Generally, these are going to be changed because it's easier to say or it maintains a sound all the way through the paradigm. Salgo, one example of a yo to go. The G is not all the way through, it's only in the yo form. Another example is hacer, to do something or to make something. It should be aco, haces, hace, hacemos, haces, and hacen. They're going to change that first C, however, to a G. Yo hago, I do my homework. Yo hago mi tarea. Another very common example is poner, to put something. It should be pono, pones, pone, ponemos, pones, and ponen. It's not. Just like salir, they're going to add a G. Pongo, I put. So these will change only in the yo form. That's why it's called yo to go. The rest will stay totally normal as expected. Verbs that end G-U-I-R are going to be in a category also of yo to go. These are a little bit more complicated, typically. Let's look at this verb. Seguir means to continue. It should be if this were regular. Seguo, segues, segue, seguimos, seguis, and sigen. However, they don't want that guo on the yo form. Yo, si, seguo. That you then is removed, making it a yo to go. Sego. It keeps the same sound then of seguir. This verb also, however, changes not only in the ending, in the yo form, it'll also change e to i all the way through the paradigm. So this is an e to i stem changer as well. So the correct conjugation of this verb is sigo, I follow, sigues, sigue, seguimos, seguis, and sigen. So it's going to change in the yo form as a yo to go, and it's going to change as an e to i as well. Seguir is to follow. Perseguir is to pursue or to chase. You can see seguir is in the verb. They just add a P-E-R at the front. Otherwise, it's conjugated exactly the same. So you'll see the U at the beginning. Perseguo will become persego to make it a yo to go. And it will also be changed E to I all the way through the paradigm. Persigo, I chase. Persigues, persigue. Perseguimos, perseguis, and persiguen. So we have seguir, which is to follow. Per seguir, which is to chase. Another example is con seguir, which is to get something. I'm going to get something out of my locker, or I'm going to get something out of the desk. In this case, it's con seguo. Notice that you in the yo form. It's going to go away to make it a yo to go. Also an e to i, so all the way through consigo, I get something. Consigo, persigo, sigo. All examples of yo to go. They end G-U-I-R. We've looked now at the Yoda Ho's and the Yoda Go's. Let's look at Yo to Z-C-O. These verbs are going to end C-E-R or C-I-R. And they're going to change again only in the Yo form. Let's look at some examples. Conocer means to know somebody. I know Bob. I know a certain place. I've been to Michigan. I know this. It's a, to know a person or to know a place. It's conocer. If you were to conjugate this regularly, that's the verb. And we have conocer, and then conoco, conoces, conoce, conocemos, conoces, and conocen. And you notice that yo form, that first one, sounds different than the rest. From conocer to conoco. They want that que sound softened. So in Spanish, you add a z, conozco. It softens it, it keeps that s sound. Conocer, conozco. Conoces, conoce, conocemos, conoces, conocen. That's the reason for the s, that z to be thrown in the yo form. And any word that ends in c-e-r or c-i-r is going to have that z added to the ending. So conocer is to know somebody. Conducir is to conduct or to drive a car. You'll see it's regular verb with the z added. Conduzco, I drive. The rest stays the same. It only changes in the yo form. That's why it's in the category yo to zco. Our first three categories change in the ending only in the yo form. 
Yoda Ho, Yoda Go, and Yoda ZCO, the fourth of the five categories that we're looking at in this lesson, are going to change in more than just the yo form. Let's look at some. These verbs are going to end U-I-R. So influir is to influence. The good thing about verbs that end in U-I-R for English speakers is that they're often cognates. You can tell that influir may very well be to influence, and it is. So we have influo, influes, influe, influimos, influis, and influen. It sounds a little choppy to say that in Spanish. So that I up in the influir, that part toward the ending, is going to be a Y. Influyo, influyes, influye, influimos, influis, and influyen. Much easier to say, much smoother rolling off the tongue. So they add the Y, that's the verb. And notice like stem changers, they will not change in the nosotros y de vosotros form. Concluir is to conclude, to finish, to conclude. You'll also add a yo, concluyo, concluyes, concluye, concluimos, concluis, and concluyen. Nice and soft, that's where the Y is going to come from in that category of verbs.